we ain't lying no more, Lord. Oh, this is for real. We was alive. We start lying. I'm about to tell some grab up. <laughs> if it's Tuesday, you'd be out there with the garbage. <laughs> the Lord is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 3.17. 2 Corinthians 3.17. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where that the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. See that, right? The spirit of the who? The Lord is as what? Liberty. See that, right? Mm -hmm. 18. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, mm -hmm. even as by the spirit of the Lord. Who's going to do that? The Holy Spirit. Amen. It's going to bring you from what? Glory to glory. glory. Number two, the Holy Spirit is a person. John 14, 16. You're going to hear these a lot. John 14, 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. See that what he, you see that word he? Yeah. He's a person. He's not a dove. That's right. He's not a dove, that little bird. Now come no man. He's a person. He's God. Yes, that that God. that what he yes. he he's not a bird. Yeah. You know, most people in church you ask them, you know, what the Holy Spirit look like. You think it's a dove? <laughs> because I I believe mostly because of the Noah when he sent out the dove, the dove came back a sign of peace. But the Holy Spirit is not a dove. The Holy Spirit is God. The Holy Spirit is a person. A person that you can talk to. The person, you know, even to the point that we call him the Holy Ghost. What is the word Holy Ghost means? It's something that's not real. Who's not whatever. That's what, see, that's why we have to call him the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I know we grow up calling the Holy Ghost. And I know it's in the Bible, say the Holy Ghost. But we look at ghosts as somebody not real. Right. right? But he's the Holy Spirit and he's God. Right? He's part of the triune God and he is God. Right? Equal in everything with the Father, the Son. And, you know, and, and we have the Spirit, but He's another form of Jesus that was there. And I was, and, and I began to tell them on, on, when Jesus was in the planet, He was both God, the Father, the Son. Every part of Him was representing everything. The, the triune God was in Him while He was in the planet. Everything that God was. When you saw Jesus, that was God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. All three of them was in that body. All three of them was in existence. And, 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 and live it. Jesus said that if I, he said, Father, I pray that um, as we are one, I and you, you and me, and I and them, we and them. Meaning that God right now, everything that God is, is in you. But you're going to acknowledge the Holy Spirit for living a victorious life and living the way that God will want you to live. And a lot of times we don't want him. Because you know why we don't want him? Because he'll disrupt, disrupt our lives. Yeah. Never think of the Holy Spirit as an it, or an attitude, or an influence. We have people in church and religion misrepresent the Holy Spirit because all they do is fall out and, and bark like dogs and chickens and stuff and say that's the Holy Spirit. It's true, that's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you wisdom and business, will tell you what to do. The Holy Spirit is gentle. He is God. And He's not only for you to bark in, in church, but He comes to give you Wisdom. Remember Daniel? Daniel can dream dreams and have wisdom and understanding and things of God. Joseph, guess who was that? The Holy Spirit. So now, look at all the other guy. Elijah, guess who that was? The Holy Spirit. Moving, give him the prophetic call of God. So now the Holy Spirit is something that when it blows, it's strength. It's, no, the Holy Spirit is God and he's a person. And if you can acknowledge him, and Jesus has made him to be the comforter. He has given the reign to him on this planet. He's governing this planet, the church. So now how come if somebody is governing the planet in the church and we don't talk to him, we don't acknowledge him, we don't say nothing to him, we'll talk to Jesus, and most of us will talk to Jesus, but we don't even talk to the Father anyway. 
We'll talk to Jesus, but we don't talk to the Holy Spirit. We ignore him. And we ignore the Father. Okay. All right. Um, the Holy Spirit himself spoke of ancient Israel not knowing God's ways. Hebrews 3, verse 7 to 10. Because the thing is that we don't know God's ways. Hebrews chapter 3, 7 through 10. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today if, today, you, if you hear his voice, mm -hmm. go hard. And not your hearts, as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your father tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always hear in their heart, and they have not my, my ways. See, he was angry way. because he said they didn't know my ways. Mm -hmm. They didn't know the ways of the Spirit. All right, I'm going to read it to you. And um, message, he said, Now if we can only keep firm grip on this bold confidence, where the house... That's why the Holy Spirit, Spirit says, today, please listen. All right? He said, today, please listen. Don't turn the deaf ears in the bitter uprising, that time of wilderness testing. Even though they watched me at work for 40 years. Who, was, who, who did they watch work for 40 years? Who was, who was bringing the, 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 the chickens, you know, during the time of the wilderness? Who was releasing the manna? Who was keeping their foot... Um, they, they, they clothes not worn. You know, their clothes were still doing good. They were eating. He was feeding them, taking care of them. Who was doing that for 40 years? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yes. He was doing all that for 40 years and taking care of them. He said, your, your ancestors refused to let me do it my way. Mm. They refused to let me do it my way. Um, over and over, they tried my patience. And I was provoked, also provoked. I said they never keep their minds on God. They refuse to walk down my road. Exasperated, I vowed they never get where they're going. Never be able to sit down and rest. See that? That's why they walked down for 40 years. And God, the Holy Spirit, take care of them. And he said they grieved them because why they didn't know his ways. And right now, guess who took care of you all these years even though you never acknowledge him? But you never acknowledge him. Who kept you holy at the beginning? But you walked away. And you begin to walk more in your flesh than in the spirit. You start to acknowledge your flesh than the Holy Spirit. That's why you are where you are. You're trying to live holy. You're trying to go back, trying to make it. But you could never. And you know the Holy Spirit will provide for you and take care of you. Give you a home and do all those things. But you never will never let him. You never let him take care of you. Marrying the wrong people, got into a relationship with the wrong people. You doing? You you were still trying to do it our way. Right. Still trying to do it our way because we don't acknowledge the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can also have joy. The Holy Spirit can have so have joy. You know He has joy. <clears throat> we have so much depression on these days, but the Holy Spirit can give you joy. Amen. How many people say? You need some joy in your life. Sometimes yeah. it gets hard. Yes. We have depressive people in church and in the world. Yeah. Romans 14, 17, read that. The Holy Spirit have joy. And you can ask them, impart your joy in me. Yeah. Huh? Impart your joy inside of me. Impart your joy inside of me, God. Read Romans 14, 17. So for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. For righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You see that? The joy in what? In the Holy Ghost. Uh, oh, you didn't have no joy until you got joy in the Holy Ghost, buddy. What? Joy in the Holy Ghost? Lord have mercy. That means that things not going right in the natural, but I have joy in the Holy Ghost that produces something I never had, brother. I got something, man. I, I got joy. The, this world then give it to me and the world can't take it away. Lord have mercy. Anybody crying, but I got joy in the Holy Ghost. Lord have mercy. And guess what? That's a spiritual force, man. That pushes out depression. You know? That push pushes out depression. And we got a lot of people depressed on Prozac. In the church. 
in the church be threats, want to commit suicide, want to kill themselves because the enemy got in and got into your spirit and brought darkness. But the Holy Spirit will bring you joy. And sometimes we have anxieties. You know why? Because we're holding too much inside. And the Holy Spirit said, man, take that away. Man, got joy in the Holy Ghost, brother. We got joy. Hallelujah. I'm, it's, it's a joy that comes from within where he gives it to you. It's his joy. Amen. It's not something, you know, there's some happiness you got because everything's going good. The wife is good. The kids are good. The house is good. You got a good job. You're happy. But that's not really joy. You're just happy. That means that when something happens, you lose it. Yes, Amen. yes. But the joy I'm talking about, the Holy Spirit, is a joy that you, He imparts in you. And it doesn't matter what the circumstances, what the situation is. Nothing can ever take it away because it's something that He imparts inside of you. Thank you. Paul referred to the joy of the Holy Spirit. 1 Thessalonians, um, Thessalonians 1 and 6, chapter 1, verse 6. 1 Thessalonians 1 and 6. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit. See that? And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in what? See, sometimes you can, you see, when you are in affliction, the first thing you get is the word. The word comes in affliction, but guess what happened? With joy of what? Of the Holy Ghost. Meaning, Sometimes when you're going through, let me put it in simple terms. When you're going through, you don't want to hear the word. No. Because you're going through. But when the joy of the Holy Spirit comes, with a, it don't take away the affliction yet. But there's a joy that is there that makes you receive that word, even in the condition. But know that the joy will, will change the situation when it do come. The joy will change the situation when it do show up. There's something about when the joy comes. Let me tell you something. You may go to a home that's no good, but if you go with it with the joy of the Lord, right. nothing changed. But the only thing is changed. You got joy now. That's right. That's right. Yes. And that situation won't take it away because He didn't create it. It don't matter what's going on in the home. I got joy, man, and I got that joy of the Holy Ghost. And you laughed at what everybody was crying. They're cursing out. They're going crazy. But you got joy of the Holy Ghost. Why are you so happy? Baby, you didn't make it happy. I'm happy because the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 The Holy Ghost is in me. The Holy Ghost is his joy. You can't take that joy away because you didn't give me that joy. That's right. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't get And this joy I got, my God, is not a joy because everything going good. That's right. Because sometimes you can have everything good. There's some people who got the money, the house, and still want to kill themselves. That's right. Huh? They got the woman. You say, why do you want to kill yourself? I have that. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> so the things don't produce joy. What things only produces is temporary happiness. But God, the Holy Spirit, gives you joy despite that. Uh, the Holy Spirit give you joy despite what's going on, despite what's happening, have nothing to do with anything else. It's his joy that I got. So guess what he does? He imparts his joy onto me. And guess what? If he imparts my joy, let me tell you something. The situation may not change, but if the joy of God is in you, it will change when you get there because yes, you don't right. see it the same. Yes, 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 yes. 